What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So we're at a interesting angle here. That's because I'm gonna show you guys how I get my nails done. So I get questions and comments about my nails all the time. So I figured I would do another updated video on how I'm doing my nails nowadays. So if that sounds like something you guys are into, let's just go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I've already got my nails removed. I soaked them off last night. So so if you have any questions about that, it's basically the same way you soak off any gel polish. I took them off last night, so it's just one last thing we have to do today. So now comes the most important part. Whether I'm putting acrylics on or gels, any type of extension, you have to prep the nails. That's the most important part. So making sure you have no dust on your nails, no dirt, no oils, all the cuticle skin is pushed back, your nail surface is buffed. All of those things will play a role in how your nails last. So we're going to go in and we're going to one step at a time, push our cuticles back, get rid of any dead skin. We're going to buff the surface of the nail, make sure there is no shine left anywhere. We're going to file the free edge if we've got any left. Then we're going to dehydrate them and prime them. So let's start with pushing the cuticles back first. I'm just going to take my silicone tip cuticle pusher and I'm going to push all of my cuticles back. So now on a very low setting, I'm going to take my nail drill. This is just one I picked up on Amazon. It works like a charm and I'm going to use this cuticle bit and I'm going to clean up around the cuticles of my nail. So again, on a very low setting, I'm just going to get rid of all the extra skin that's around these edges from my cuticles. We wanna make sure that these edges are nice and clean and prepped properly. Cause if you don't do these steps, once you put the nail on, if you have cuticle skin, still laying on top of the back end of your nail, that nail is inevitably going to lift. Again, whether you're doing an acrylic nail or any type of gel X extension, whatever it is, you've got to properly prep your nails or they're going to lift, they're going to fall off, they're going to crack, whatever it is. Prep is the most important part. So I'm just going to do this with all of my nails and get rid of all of this extra skin around the edges. See all that extra skin and dust? That is pretty gross. And you've got to, again, you gotta make sure all that stuff is removed or it's going to impact the longevity of your nails. So let's dust all this stuff out of the way. So we pushed our cuticles back. We've gotten rid of all that extra skin. Now we're going to buff the surface of our actual nails. So when you look at your nails, you can see they have a natural shine to them and that's what we're looking to get rid of. So I'm going to take my hand file because I don't particularly like to use even a sanding belt on my nail gel. It just feels too harsh to me. And I feel like I have a lot more control using just a hand file. So I'm just going to go in and file the entire surface of the nail and once again, get every little edge, every little corner of your nail is very important. If you forget these inside and outside corners, your nail is going to lift there. We've got to buff the entire surface of the nail. Again, we're gonna do it gently. We're not trying to remove bulk of your natural nail. You don't wanna damage it, but we've gotta make sure the entire surface is buffed. Alrighty, so I've brushed off my nails a couple times now because once you brush them off that first time, it makes it a lot easier to see if there are any spots that you missed while filing. So I've brushed them off, gone back in, and touched up any areas that needed to be touched up. If I see extra skin anywhere or just anywhere I haven't filed, a spot I've missed, I'll go back in and refile it. Again, I know it's a pain in the bum to take this long on just nail prep, but it's absolutely worth it. This is why I can get my nails to last me three weeks, four weeks, and even if you tried, you cannot get these nails off. I mean, granted, this is different than acrylics. These outlast my acrylics by a long shot, by weeks, literally weeks. I love these types of nails. That's why I stopped doing acrylics. Not only is it so much easier to do and quicker to do, anybody can do it and they last a whole lot longer, but you've got to apply them correctly. We have pushed our cuticles back. We've ground off the cuticle skin. We've buffed the entire surface of our nail and we've filed the free edge. Now we're ready to dehydrate and prime. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my prep and clean dehydrant. Essentially what it does is 
is the same thing kind of alcohol does. It's just getting rid of all of the extra dust that's on our nail bed surface and completely drying it out. So it's getting rid of any extra oils or anything that might be left on our nails and just completely cleaning it. So we're going to apply that first. All right, they are prepped and clean. And because they dry so fast, we can go right in with our nail primer. This is no lift nail primer. This takes a little bit longer to dry and it spreads out a whole lot more. So you don't have to be nearly as generous with this stuff, a little goes a long way, but you do wanna thoroughly coat your entire nail. Okay, and like I said, this doesn't dry nearly as quick as the dehydrator does. So we're just gonna give this about a minute until it's dry, then we can start picking out our nail tips. Alrighty guys, so our nails are completely prepped. They've been dehydrated and primed. Now we're ready to start picking out our nail tips. I like to do this before I put my first layer of gel polish on, cause we will do a base layer of gel, but we'll get to that in a second. I like to do this first. Now, I've only got two zeros left. I have to quickly, quickly, or Order some more. All of the products that I use are from E Nail Couture. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. But I absolutely love E Nail Couture. They make the best stuff. They make the best and the longest full coverage gel nail extensions or tips, whatever you want to call them, in the world. I love them. Absolutely love all of their products. So, anyways, I've only got two zeros left. I know those are my thumbs. I think I might be a five for a pointer if I remember correctly. Yep. My middle fingers is a four. Yeah, I think both my middle and this finger are both fours and my pinky will probably be yep a nine i like to check both hands because sometimes it does seem like each hand has a different size nail which is totally normal so we've got all of our tips here ready to go i like to keep them in this order but now we have to apply our base coat of gel so before we can actually start applying these full coverage gel tips we have to do a base gel coat on our natural nails and let's pull in our led uv lamp this one is is right from Amazon, but e Nail Couture makes a really, really good one. They make great little handheld ones as well. And this is going to be the base gel that we're going to apply to our natural nails. Again, this is e Nail Couture. So I'm going to do one hand at a time because I do my own nails, it's just easier to do that way. So I'm going to base coat my left hand completely and we're going to throw it into the lamp for about 60 seconds. Okay, so we have cured our left hand. Now is the fun part where we can start applying our actual tips. So these are the two products that you can use from the E-Nail Couture system. So this is the press-on gel, the original, and then he came out with this DIY gel. So this is for situations like I'm in myself, where if you're doing your own nails, this is going to stick a lot harder to your nail right away than this one does. So I like to use this one. I just haven't really gotten into this one yet, which I do like it, it has worked, I've used it on my mom, but I still use this one and I just keep that other one as a backup. I have current written on it just because I have so many bottles of this, so I know which one is currently open. And to cure this, we're going to have to have some type of mini lamp to cure the nail in place until we can get it into the lamp. So we're going to flash cure the nail onto our nail bed for about 15, 20 seconds, put each nail on, then we can fully cure it inside of the lamp. With this one, it sticks on so well that you can kind of just stick the nails on all together at once and then put it in the lamp. So this is totally up to you guys. Recommend them both. They both work great. I'm just used to the press on gel. So that's what I use. So I've got this little mini lamp right here. And what I'm going to do is pull my left hand down. And luckily he makes these nail tips pre-drilled. So these are already roughed up on the inside. So we don't even have to prep the surface of the inside of the nail anymore. We can just go right in and start sticking these babies on. So the first one I'm gonna do is my thumb. I'm gonna have my lamp right here ready. I'm going to open up my press on gel and we're going to paint the inside of the nail tip where it's going to hit our natural nail. So this might take you guys a little bit of practice to just get used to, but it's super, super simple. So as you can see, I just coated the entire area where it's going to come in contact with my nail. And now I'm gonna go in and start really building up a good amount of gel kind of at the back of the nail tip here. So essentially what we're doing with this is building the apex of a nail. So just like an acrylic, you wanna build an apex. So now I'm going to take my flash cure lamp and I'm gonna stick it right in my mouth. And then I'm gonna put the tip on and flash cure it. So I'm going to take the nail tip, flip it around, hold it in place, and then I'm going to flash cure it. 
All right, so that's good enough because we're going to fully cure it inside of our lamp once we have our entire set on. So same thing, I'm gonna go into the press on gel. We're gonna paint this entire area that's gonna come in contact with my natural nail. Then we're gonna go back in and build up a good amount of gel in the back here and we're gonna press it on and flash cure it. All right, and we're gonna do the same exact thing for all of the rest of our nails. Alrighty, so we have flash cured all of our nail tips in place. Now we can fully cure them in our full size lamp over here. And I'm going to do that with the low heat setting. So that's about 90 seconds, 30 seconds is the low heat. And then it switches to 60 seconds of the full heat. So we're gonna let this completely cure. Alrighty guys, and it's as easy as that. They are fully cured, fully ready to be filed, painted, and move on with my life. This is why I love these so much more than acrylics. They're stronger, they're pre-shaped, they're better looking. I just, I absolutely love them. You cannot beat that, and absolutely anybody can do this. You don't need any crazy skill. You just need to be able to paint your nails, and you can do this, but yeah. That's it. So we're gonna do the same thing with our right hand now. So again, we're gonna go in and do our base gel. We're gonna cure it. Alrighty, so once again, guys, we have completely coated our nails in these base coat gel from e -Nail Couture. Now again, we're just going to simply cure it. All right, guys, easy peasy here. Now we're just going to pull down my tips so they're nice and close. And we're gonna do the same thing we did for my left hand. Alrighty guys, that is it. They are both fully cured, fully ready to go. All we have to do now is shape them if you want to at all and paint them and that's it. It is that easy. It's incredible how easy they are. So with that being said, what I like to do is go in with the soft side of my 100, 180 grit file and I'm just going to lightly blend the back of the nail tip into my natural nail. All right, now they are ready to go. I'm just going to lightly buff the surface of all of these nails with a buffing block just to get rid of that surface shine. So they are buffed, filed, ready to go. All I'm gonna do now is wash my hands and we can start painting these bad boys. Hands are washed and we are ready to finally paint. This is the nail polish I'm gonna be using. Unfortunately, out of the entire set, this is the only one that has ever leaked and it always leaks. It drives me nuts, but again, I think I got these from Amazon. I'll link them down below if I did, but it's just a nice light pink glitter. So I'm gonna have to do a couple coats and I'm just gonna paint my nails. Gonna paint my nails, then top coat them and I'll show you what they look like when we're done. Alrighty guys, that is it. These are my finished nails and they look perfect. That's another thing that you cannot beat with full coverage tips like this because you don't have to do any shaping. You don't have to file anything down like you do with an acrylic. They're just beautiful and perfect as they are. Super, super easy. So yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. These are my finished nails, love them. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. I know my nails are a little bit crazy, but hey, they do look good. Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did, comment down below. Let me know what do you wanna see next, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.